Rooks. I am the, the guy that brings you all the media content for Drift Rooks. So what I'm going to do for you now is just show you a quick walk around of the DW86 um, in, in very simple terms. Massive change from previous seasons, um, still orange. Still got the fenders with made by Magic Aero and uh, modified by GT Tuning. Still on the Workmeisters, running red wheel bolts this year. Um, so yeah, still still got the Narca Dots on the side. Um, slightly redesigned work logo. Um, proud of that, my own handiwork. Um, so yeah, so let's start with the front as, as people want to know about the engine and everything else. Um, so again, still basically the same. Um, last season we were having big issues with understeer. Um, the car's so tractive it was starting to do wheelies. Um, so to try and um, so causing understeer. So we've upped the tire size on the front from a 245 35 17 um, to a 255 35 17 um, Achilles 123S. Um, so it's slightly wider. Um, hopefully it solves the understeer issue. Seems to be working from the first two rounds that we've done. Uh, but because of that, we have had to modify the fenders ever so slightly, so we, we bought them out um, about 20 mil, I think. Um, also coincides with the additional lock that we've, that we've tried to get this year. Um, everything else is the same. Um, these are one-piece light covers, so no heavy, heavy bricks. Um, one thing I will say as well, which I, I forgot to mention in my waffling, um, the car last year weighed 1,350 kilograms, so quite a heavy car for a car of this size. So we, it's gone on a massive diet and it now weighs 1,150, so 200 kilograms saved, um, so quite substantial. Um, so first thing um, for that is the new engine. It looks the same as last year's, it's still an, basically an LSX, uh, but this is a, it's a handmade mask block. Um, Still around 7.4 litres in capacity, um, but 50 kilograms lighter, so straight off the bat, a massive weight save. Um, another thing that we've changed slightly this year, still on the on the Genvy throttle bodies, but we were having issues, especially like France and um, where else do we go? BDC. We were just having issues with running the risk of gravel going on the inside. Um, so Genvy have given us some prototype um, covers, um, so nice carbon fibre with uh, foam for just, just to stop um, dirt and, and gravel and stuff going into the engine which is never nice and unfortunately the engine is slightly higher than last year so um, we've had to cut these awful holes in um, try to make it as pretty as we can but just, you just gotta, do, just gotta play the game and, and get, it, get it working um, another massive change, we space framed the entire front um, so as you can see here, Nixon Motorsport have made all the frame so it just unbolts right up here, and you can just see slightly on focus. And yeah, and then just everything bolts on, so all the fenders bolt on, um, all the pipe work, the front bumper, oh, focus, come on. Yeah, so it's all, um, yeah, it's all space frame. Again, save the weight, so we used to have massive metal tubs here, if anyone can remember. It does mean you can also see the, all the suspension components, so the Driftwork CS2s, um, Geomasters, and, and all of our arms. Um, but it just makes the car lighter, um, combined again, yeah, like I said, with the, with the fiberglass covers. Um, these, quite a neat little feature, we've just put a sticker on, um, back the black ground, um, put a sticker on and then used um, like window tint just to try and make it look like lights. A lot of people, when building drift cars, seem to go through the effort of making their car not look like a car anymore, um, either removing headlights or just, just making them look up fairly ugly so we try to try to minimize that by using things like the, the covers here and everything else whereas other people might have just ah sod it let's not bother um, so yeah that's the front um, just take you inside um, so we've a couple of changes on the inside remove the seat ever so slightly forward um, just to improve Phil's driving style um, still on the on the Cobra suit um, which is, which is very nice. Um, the, we've removed the pedal box and now gone for more traditional pedals. Um, so the pivot point has changed. So in, instead of pressing down, um, you now you now do that sort of motion. So easier to drive. Uh, Phil never really got on with it, from what I understand. Um, new steering column. We've had this made. Um, had issues with it last year when we took it apart for the re rebuild. We found the joint um, had play in it, 
Um, so completely redesigned the, the whole the whole system, moved it forward again to go coincide with the driving seat. Um, because we've saved weight and part of the BDC rules, you don't have to run a passenger seat. So we've moved the battery from the back of the car into the passenger footwell, um, just to um, keep the weight distribution as it was before we've saved all the weight, which is quite important to try and keep it driving the same. So that's inside. Um, the back, um, we've removed the lights, and again, more fancy stickers. Just, I mean, look at it from here, you can't, if you didn't know there were stickers, you would be none the wiser. Um, and yeah, the exhaust used to push out behind the exhaust, and um, we've now gone for like a Porsche GT3 style map box. Um, inside, we cut out all the metal work, space framed it again uh, with cages made by frame made by Nixon Motorsport. Uh, so as you can see here, nothing here. The heavy metal tubs are now replaced with carbon Kevlar. The back piece is all one piece Kevlar, so that should all just unbolt in one go. Um, and then it's all mounted to this space frame that you can see here. Um, as we're running no lights, um, our brake light is now here. It's just a um, just a normal normal light, and we've the fuel fuel tank which used to be here in the old car. We've now we've now moved here. Had a custom tank made to our own specs and design, um, just to fill the void there, and move it forward. And you can fit it up from here. Um, it's all part of the, of the weight saving game. Um, still using the Winters axle on the back, which you can you can see here. So it's still Winters drop axle, um, anti-roll bars inside the car. Oh. Yeah, so here it is. It's um, essentially the same, lighter, faster, um, just as much of an animal to drive. And yeah, see you, see you at BDC round three.